Hello, and welcome to episode 69 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Tia the Awakening. In the last episode, or episodes, I'm not sure exactly, uh, we managed to build a blessed path in our um, village, which means that we can actually gather quite a bit now. We can gather um, in a two radius around the town. So we can actually get some silver and some steel, and we are actually doing that, which is great. We actually getting, I guess, um, six silver every two turns or so, and six steel every two turns or so. Um, less than two turns, but uh, not one turn. Um, Sixteen meat every turn here and probably 12 meats every turn here, almost. And a little bit of wood. I assume we are getting wood. Yes, we are. Which is really, really nice. I guess if I zoom out a little bit and then go into that screen, yeah, we can see how much we can cover here. And once we research scale letter, we can um, gather that as well, which would be great. Excellent. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And the building is this blessed path here. And uh, we use dry wood and mithril. And we add plus two gathering radius, which is awesome. Because we used to have a mining um, expedition over here to mine silver. Um, and it got destroyed by the uh, wandering stack. So anyway, uh, I believe that our Expedition is camping here to uh, do some things um, and are coming back. I don't know what quest we're on right now. Um, I think the Silver Oak quest is ongoing. That's just going there to uh, to trade and we, we trade quite a bit of food with them, which is nice. But I think uh, we'll go for the Giant next. We have 29 people here. I'm tempted to uh, split a few of these guys off to um, to stay at, at the camp here. Let's take a look at the resource nearby. Um, there's some bird meat and things over here that we can camp at. It wouldn't be bad to just have another camp somewhere maybe here. Like right here to get silver, uh, bird meat, and wood, and just uh, supplying going back and forth over here. That would be be great. And then over here we have exotic fruit and dark wood. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go to the next turn. Outside, you're greeted by the dwarven rune master. We came too late. Birdstone is still is ailing. Still, perhaps you'll borrow some time. Who knows? At least the filth is dealt with. Okay, so this is part of the um, the Dwarven cult uh, cultist quest that we were on. Uh, so basically, there's a bunch of dwarven cultists that went. A, around and collect a bunch of uh, holy items. They got a holy hog, they get the, uh, the the hammer from the dwarves and something from the elves and we managed to deal with them. So the, I guess we'll go through this option and see what happened. Okay. Elf gives us a parcel. Wonder what that is. Okay, this is interesting. A silver chain. So we can make some tactic. Okay. Now the other thing that we had done was that we did some research. Is that what I want to 
click on we research the ability to craft artifacts let's see what we can do with these things so we'll start out with some let's say silver or something like a let's start with some wood so this make a reed flute that's actually really nice a lot of speech for social things if we start with malachite give it traps oh that's we have one of those things amber give us the runestone as some will topaz yellow ready bug as some range damage it's nice Janet Bone, Obelism folklore, which is nice. Silver is what we just get there as a tactic. Gold is the coin at attractiveness. Ancient wood, roots of life. Oh. That's really nice. Some diamond. That's pretty, pretty cool. Hang on one second. So this is a a good start here. And we, how many diamonds do we have? We have just enough to make one. And put one of these things in here. And add a little bit. Of, uh, this is not does not go there. Oh, it needs five. Never mind. Okay, so that's one option. Now over here we can have metal or leather. Skill leather give us intelligence compared to. It doesn't change anything. So that does not change anything, okay? What happened if we use something like silver here? Also does not change anything. If that's the case, then we'll just use silver because we have a mine full of it. That just reduce these things. How about mine? So it looks like material does not change much here just 444 four, four. still 444 four, four. again just want to make sure we put mitra in here is still 444 four, four. Yep. so how about steel we even have even more steel so weight 25 one. Okay, we'll use silver then. And how about dragon bone up here? At strength. That's pretty good. Monster bone, dexterity, folklore and herbalism, elvenwood, intelligence. What about metro up here? Shielding and perception. This may be the way to go. Shooting and perception. As opposed to attracting that will and intelligence. Wow. So we can only build one of these, so let's just build one of these. Then I was trying to track it over. It doesn't work like that. It certainly does not. 
Oh, we don't have enough silver, we do have steel. Make a little bit heavier, but that's okay. Shooting and perception. How about this? Oh, that's certainly cut it down. So I'm guessing it's just the quality of these that uh, that matter. Okay, so we can build quite a few of these actually. Shielding and perception. I think that's pretty good. Let's build like five. That's a lot of literal that we're using up. That's okay. Send this all the way up. This even on top. That. Now we'll keep a bit of these left for building things. I think we might be able to get to doing these in one turn. There we go. Now, jewelry. Can we have mithril jewelry? Mithril and ruby. These are kind of nice too. That looks good. Magic is good. Adrenaline boost is good. Tactics always, but let's cancel these for now. Let's close that out. Um, here we got our meat and herbs, and steel and silver and all that stuff. So let's break camp here. We'll go down here to pick up the mushroom. Equip stuff. That's the food source, so we uh, don't want to completely take everything away. This way. Continue on. So we have the uh, nice diamond pendant there. Let's go ahead and transfer stuff over. We don't need to carry this much wood with us. I'll keep all the food except for mushroom. We keep about 200 maybe. We don't need to carry all these this stuff with us either. I'll go ahead and pause and send some of these back. I'll be right back. So we went ahead and uh, transfer stuff over, and we'll wait a turn here to pick up another one of those amulet, and then uh, we'll go on. I think. Let's 
go ahead and pick up that amulet as well. Maybe one of these bow. So we do have some uh, dwarfs and other people here now. Let's just go to equipment real quick for these guys. This add three attractiveness. So this is just flat out better. one will actually because this at shielding let's go for the guys that are wielding the uh, the axe like this guy uh, not the axe the um, uh, the two-handed uh, hammers This is our dwarf. I'll make him attractive. He could use a bow. Oh wow, he cannot. It's too heavy for him. Should make some new armors and things as well. And probably some um, more hammers and shields. Even though this guy is a dwarf, he does not seem to be able to um, use this axe one handed. And they say that he's a good smith. I don't see anything about uh, smithing here. This guy wield a hammer one handed. I think we have a better hammer here for him. No. No. This probably is a better shield. He has two craft, so not uh, not that high. Okay, so let's get going, and we are heading over to. Well, let's start over here first. But the um, the quest is over here somewhere. You fall from the ground into a dark and stale tunnel. The fall was rough, but it is possible to make your way back up. Since we have a lot of people explore the tunnel, venture deeper and deeper into the tunnel until you reach a crossroads. Let's go right. You go to the right and you walk for what seems like forever. It gets darker and colder with every step. Finally, you reach a large underground chamber. It is filled with shiny stones and all sorts of treasures. But on top of them, there sleeps a dragon. And with all our people, let's fight a dragon. So this time, there's only one dragon. Uh, we actually encounter a fight with two dragons and uh, we end up losing some people with that. So I really at this point I can't tell what we have. So let's just keep in play. So that's the dragon. We get to try to deal 237 damage before he wakes up. Well because he's uh, a tactical card so he doesn't quite uh, do anything this turn because you need a turn to move to the front line. We can play four cards. So I'm thinking we'll send out a hammer just like we always do. So that's 46 damage. We need to do 120 if we want to kill him in one turn. And then let's bring out a shield. So 
these two guys together do just over 100 so we need another 20 we'll get there but for now let's do some counter tactic if we can I saw a big counter tactic over here this card this counter tactic 13 let's see if that's sufficient that is That was a level 8 that we counted on. Let's do another 14. That's level 5. Okay, so those are 25 hits. So the idea would be to bring some spears to take care of them. So we have a 24, that'll be good, but I don't. Let's bring the 35 out. And then let's do a counter tactic again. Seven, maybe low. Four is definitely low. Three, eight. So that is going to be a kill there, that's going to be a kill there, well, since we can play all our cards now, let's just bring these guys out, and let them take care of the dragon. So we do want to have all 200 and something hits before he wakes up. So by doing that, I think we'll just send all these guys out. I think it will be enough. If not, this guy's gonna be in a world of hurt. Because he's doing 65 damage. Okay, and if anything that has support ally, I think we'll. Just use that. So we'll make this uh this next of hours extra 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 um we can actually send him a front two and do the first hit. Let's do that after we support allies and more. So he himself will almost be able to take care of the dragon because he get two hits. Actually he will. He will take care of the dragon because he get two hits. So that is much safer I think. somehow they managed to hit the wrong target and she ended up getting a little hurt just a little but still hurt you have slain a dragon seriously you have but the whole cave now shakes violently time to move you run as fast as you can towards the left tunnel and it does have an exit 
Okay, so let's take a look at our loot. Got a bunch of diamonds, which is really nice. Uh, dragon bones. We didn't get any dragon scale. Monster menace. That looks pretty cool. Maybe that's better than uh, some of the other ones we have. Okay. So that was exciting. For sure. Let's take. I do wish um, that we can tell which kind of damage these um, these guys have up front. No, not up front, but for example, it'll be nice to have an axe symbol here or a spear symbol here, just so that we can, at a glance, uh, narrow down. Can she? No, she cannot. It's too heavy for her. We need some one-handed swords. Okay, we we'll definitely will do that. Some one-handed swords. So this guy does not use anything. Some will, as opposed to attractiveness. We have another one of these three shielding. We'll again put that on a somebody with a um, a hammer. Not on these guy would be using hammer. He already has one of those. She can use that. He's using a spear. This is a better spear. Does he have a blessed strength? He does not. So we can use a light shield as well. One handed sword and light shields. Some more of those um, things. This guy's using a two handed sword. We probably have better two handed swords. She has a nice spear. They don't use any weapons. He does not use any weapons. Okay. So before we forget, let's go ahead and queue up some one-handed sword. So we do have Mithril. Let's use the Mithril. Actually, let's do Moonstone. Mithril. Perfectus. That sounds like an awesome, awesome sword. Wow. So compare that with a the reverse, which is 
Mithril and Diamond. Twelve six two one. So seventeen seven two two. That's much better. And we can make a few of these. So I say we do. Let's make three. Then we need shields. Again, since we do have mithril, let's use that. And since we also have silver, let's use that. So these are nice. And we'd make a few of these as well. We don't have enough diamonds to make any more of them, but let's do that. That's not what I meant to do. That. Let's make... Three of them? Let's go with four. Assuming we have enough stuff, and I think we do. Okay. So that should be able to equip a few of uh, our guys. Let's head back to this treasure. Okay, so we level up as well. Gain some bunch of different things and she gets some magic I was hoping that she gets some strength so we can actually add some more um, equipment on her but that was not the case you come across a hidden stash and it looks like whatever is inside may still be intact you have Take your loot stuff. safe in hand but you can hear something approaching fast. Perhaps a guardian These of the stash. Good. Let's fight. You stand your ground and face the approaching enemy. The air seems to get thicker. I think it's just wars, yeah. The first time uh, we saw those, we thought it would be a lot more difficult. Let's bring out some uh, hammering. And some shooting. Some counter tactic. 13 is fine, even though these guys are only level 3. And then let's do the same. Actually, let's just do some piercing damage. Shielding and counter tactic force for sufficient. And after this um, fight, we'll call it an episode here because we are running low on time. Okay, I think that should do the trick. Turns out these were simply some boars defending their turf, or searching for prey. Still, you search their remains, hoping to gather some extra resources. That's a nice crossbow. That, that's all really good. So, let's call it an episode here, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.